Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to do another example of how to find the mean, the median, and the mode. Here it's a little different example. Uh, what we have here is we have, let's say, a retail store, maybe a chain of retail stores that offers wages anywhere from $9 to $14. And when we count all the employees and ask them what kind of wage are they earning, you see that 40 are earning $90, 80 are earning $10, 100 are earning $11, 60 are earning $12, 40 are earning $13, and 20 are earning $14. So how many employees are there all together? Well, 40 plus 80 is 120, 220, 280, 300, 340 employees. So if we're going to try and calculate what is the average wage, well, then we would have to add up the wage of each employee and divide it by the total number of employees. So one way to do that would be to go ahead and say, all right, we have 40 employees that are earning $9, and so we're going to multiply that times $9. So that's the total amount of money earned by those employees earning $9, plus we have 80 employees earning $10, plus we have 100 employees earning $11, and we have 60 employees earning $12, and we have 40 employees earning $13, and then finally we have 20 employees earning $14. So that's the total amount of money earned by all the employees working for that retail store. And if we divide that by the total number of employees, we will get the average. So that would be one way to do that. And so basically, if we go ahead and calculate that, let's go ahead and get a calculator. So we get 360 plus 800 plus 1100 plus 720 plus that would be 520 and plus 280 and we divide the whole thing by 340 then on average the employees there earn $11.12 we could have also thought about it in this way we can find the same result by saying well we can sum up the probability of what each employee earns and multiply that times the amount of that earnings. So for example, that would be from i equals 1 to n, and of course it would be six different categories, and so this is equal to the probability which would be 40 out of 340, that would be the probability of people earning $9, so we multiply that times $9, plus the probability that people earn $10, that would be 80 out of 340 times $10, plus, and then we have the probability, which is 100 out of 340, which is earning $11, plus the probability, which is 60 out of 340, earning $12. I guess I should put parentheses around these like that, plus the probability, which is 40 out of 340, of earning $13, plus the probability, 20 out of 340, of earning $14. And then if you work that out, you'll find out you get the exact same result. So notice that he's then calculating the expected value. This here is the equation of calculating the expected value. And so the expected value doing like this is exactly the same as getting the average value by simply multiplying the amount of money uh, 40 of these people earn times 40, the amount of money 80 of these people earn times 80, and so forth add up all the wages earned by all the employees divided by 340 and you get the same result. So that's how we find the mean or the average. So now we're going to find the median. The median is the middle value, meaning there's just as many employees that earn less and just as many employees that earn more. Now if we chart that out, it might help a little bit, so let's go ahead and make a histogram of this. And so we have $9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 dollars. And so let's call this a 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, the number of people earning that. 60, 80, 100. And let's go ahead and draw bars. So for nine dollars an hour we have 40 people earning that much money. Ten dollars an hour we have 80 people. Gives you visualization. Then uh, 11 dollars an hour we have 100. 100 people earning this money, 12, it's down to 60, 13 is down to 40, 
you know, 14,000 hours down to 20 people. All right, so there's a nice visualization of the wage distribution at that retail store. And now if you notice that if you add these two together and you add those two together, you can come over here. So you add these two numbers together. So 120 people either earn $9 or $10. And if you earn, add these three together, that would be 120 people either earn 12, 13, or 14. You can see that there's just as many people to the left of $11 as this to the right of $11, which means that $11 is the median. That's the value in the middle when you, come, when you compare numbers. And so therefore we call 100 or $11 the median income. And finally, the mode. The mode is the wage that the most people earn. And again, in this case, since there's 100 people and no other wage is being earned by that many people, this would then also be what we call the mode. So $11 is also the most earned wage, if you want to call it that, the wage earned by the most people at that retail store. So we call that the mode, the median, meaning the wage in the middle where half the people earn less and half the people earn more. And then the finally the average or the mean is simply adding all the wages together divided by the total number of people and you get eleven dollars and twelve cents and so that's how we in this case calculate the mean the median and the mode